Reaction to the chief's retirement plans coming in from across the city, from people saying they were wrongly arrested, to the police union, and to people who have considered the chief a friend for decades. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius continues our team coverage now. Of all the people we heard from today, not a single one said police chief Jerry Williams should have stayed. There's just been too many scandals and too much internal strife showing what people power can do. Bruce Franks Jr. is suing the city of Phoenix for his arrest at a protest. He has worked with Mass Liberation AZ pressuring the city to hold Chief Jerry Williams responsible for the wrongs of her department. And he says her retirement is not the end. 99% of folks have not spoken up, including the person that's at the front of the table. So yes, Kate Gallego has to go as well. Gallego is Phoenix's mayor. Williams has had a rocky relationship as well with her officers' unions. The Phoenix Law Enforcement Association issued a short statement saying, as a 33-year law enforcement veteran, Chief Williams has devoted her life to protecting our community. We wish her the best in her upcoming retirement. The Fraternal Order of Police saying this is an opportunity for improvement, noting a surge in violent incidents and staffing challenges decimating entire investigative units, saying the men and women on the front lines deserve more support and resources. Have there been mistakes and challenges, uh, you know, uh, in the Phoenix PD or under Chief Williams' administration? The answer is yes. However, I think overall she's she's done a phenomenal job. Michael Kelly has known Jerry Williams personally and professionally for decades. I think that Jerry Williams has increased the, the focus and attention on uh, diversity and inclusion in the police department. He notes reforms during Williams' tenure, like the Office of Accountability and Transparency to handle police complaints and the Community Assistance Program that will send social workers, not officers, to help people in mental health crisis. Other changes ordered by Williams, including requiring all officers to wear body cameras and requiring officers to report every time they point a gun at a person, came after public outcry about excessive force claims and police shootings. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.